Asio Ovium, the first open source and decentralized framework for managing scholarly publications, life cycles and the associated data. According to Orvium, the scientific publishing industry is one of the most profitable in the world. The top 5 publishers account for 50 to 70% of all publications and their profit margins have been reported to exceed those of companies such as Google, Amazon and so on. In 2015, the global market for scientific, technical and medical publication was an estimate of 25 billion. In contrast to any other publishing industry, private scientific publishers have pushed the publication efforts and costs to the research community. Scientific publishers have created an awkward triple pay system. First, governments fund most of the research. Second, volunteer scientists, usually paid by the government or research institutes, review the work. And third, publishers sell the product back to the governmental institutions and universities. Scientists and research institutions regularly criticize this outrageous economic model which compromises the dissemination and growth of scientific knowledge, a process responsible for some of the most revolutionary changes in human history. Moreover, the current publication model has several problems affecting the research community, including high publication costs, copyrights held by publishers rather than authors, long, obique and oftentimes biased publications, and peer review process, lack of rewards and recognition for reviewers, and the proliferation of low-quality journals. In the last few decades, several initiatives have tried to improve this situation. However, these initiatives have been insufficient to reverse market insufficiencies and barriers. The Orvium solution to all this is this. Orvium is the first open source and decentralized framework for managing scholarly publications lifecycle and the associated data. Orvium introduced a disruptive business model into the research publication market through a unique combination of four core technologies, blockchain and smart contracts, decentralized storage, cloud computing, and last but not least, big data analytics and machine learning. Using blockchain technology and decentralized storage approach will allow a public, fully traceable and trustworthy record of the publication process at a minimal cost. Meanwhile, cloud computing technologies will provide flexibility, global availability, and scalability to the platform and services. Finally, big data analytics and machine learning will enable advanced analysis to enhance lifecycle, automatization, facilitate peer review accuracy, classify papers based on their content and identify emerging trends and topics among other goals. Their objective at Orvium is to help the scientific community to share its publications, eliminate existing inefficiencies and biases of the publication market and improve the quality and effectiveness of the publication lifecycle. Orvium's model focuses on the following areas. First, to help to enhance science to human heritage. Second, to offer a business model that returns benefits to science. Third, make science more transparent, universal and open access than ever before. Fourth, truly recognize research's work and its impact. Fifth, maximize scientific validation and collaboration. And last but not least, incorporate society in the scientific process and its evolution. Their entire team is consisted by 24 members. To be more precise, they have three founding members, six scientific advisors, seven business strategy advisors, and seven members that are devoted in the tech department. As mentioned, there are three co-founders. First, Manuel Martin. He is the senior project leader and the blockchain expert. Manuel's career has focused on supporting large collaborations through technology innovation. He has led critical data management, big data and machine learning initiatives for the largest and most complex scientific instrument ever built. Second is Adonio Romero, the technology solution architect. Adonio has led several big data and machine learning efforts for the research and development partnership between CERN and leading ICT companies. His work accelerating cutting-edge predictive maintenance and machine learning solution has motivated groundbreaking operation optimization for the CERN accelerator complex. Last but not least, Roberto Rabasso, an application and cloud technology expert. He has more than 10 years of experience working in the private sector for companies like Deutsche Telekom, Just Eat and Asus LTD. Having checked the rest of the team members, I can tell that the team behind Orvium possesses the necessary experience and the know-how to see such a demanding project through. Overall, their team can be deemed solid. Orvium leverages a unique and seamless integration of cutting-edge technologies, Ethereum blockchain and smart contracts, decentralized storage solution, big data analytics and cloud computing to create a platform to process, validate and disseminate research data and results. The Orvium platform is characterized by the following. 
Instantaneous proof of existence, manuscripts are available from the moment they are submitted to Orvium. Copyright and licenses are owned and transferable by authors. Authors retain control of their work and its potential economic benefits. Optimal publication and access cost. The price are not influenced by monopolistic or oligopolistic market structures. Efficient framework to create decentralized journals with low maintenance and operational costs. Seamless integrations between research data and results. Continuous and transparent peer reviews, the research community is empowered to publicly determine the validity and soundness of the research, public recognition and economic reward for peer reviewers, journal subscription freedom, no journal subscription model is enforced, accommodates grey literature and its valuation, transparent calculations of quality metrics such as impact factor and peer review quality, eliminates current predatory practices and conflicts regarding plagiarism, idea ownership and registration. And last but not least, it's a social platform. In addition, Orvium is founded on open source principles. Therefore, all software development by Orvium is and always will be open source. And to extend a little bit to the business model and the Orvium token, Orvium establishes a transparent, comprehensive and competitive business model to obtain and increase revenue while supporting global research. Orvium's business model is built on the Orvium token, a new digital cryptocurrency created specifically for the platform. The different phases of a manuscripts and journals life cycles, such as manuscripts, submission, peer review, payments for copyright license, research, data sharing, journal management, and so on, will generate exchanges of ORV between institutions, authors, peer reviewers, journal owners, readers, and any social actor involved. This decentralization will unlock the full potential of a new, fair, transparent, and competitive market controlled by the entire community free of bias, oligopolies, and hidden interests. The core of the business model and its interactions with the ORV token will be summarized as follows. There will be the manuscript submission. Authors submit their manuscripts to Orvium, creating a public proof of existence and authorship, which is stored in the blockchain. Peer review. Researchers submit their reviews to Orvium. Research data. Authors can at any moment share the data used in the research. Decentralized autonomous journals. Both individuals and institutions can create decentralized autonomous journals with ease. Science, patronage, any person or entity can challenge the scientific community to solve specific problems or challenge the societies to contribute to research programs. For that, the community stake RV tokens will be used as reward. Let's take a look on the roadmap to see when we can expect all that to happen. Taking a look on their roadmap, we will realize that each stage has a code name, which is pretty cool, but we have to look beyond that to see what each stage has to offer. It started back in Q1 of 2017 with the code name Nebula. That stage lasted for one year. The idea was developed, the team was assembled, and the MVP was created. Currently, they are on stage 2 with the code name uh, Red Giant, which spams from Q2 to Q3 of this year. We can expect a token sale to take place and the company to recruit more talent. The next phase has the name Supernova, spans from Q4 of 2018 to Q3 of 2019, actually. The DIG uh, platform is expected alongside with license and copyrights. Also, they plan to develop the research and development program. On the second part of Q2 to Q3, to patronize, to fund the campaigns in the platform and as well to launch grant uh, research and development program. The stage 4 of their roadmap bears the code name Neutrostar and it will see it big data platform and fully functioning release of the platform. Their roadmap concludes in Q1 of 2020 when the Pulsar phase will take place and Orvium 1.0 will be released. The roadmap possesses quite some information. We would like to know a little bit more, but it's not a bad roadmap overall. Keep in mind though that the Orvium platform is set to be released almost two years from now in Q1 of 2020. There will be a total of 379 million Orvium tokens. 60% of the tokens will go towards sale, 20% will be maintained by the Orvium company, 10% will go to the team, and 10% will go to advisors and partners. We have a 60-40 split, which is not the ideal for an ICO, but it's okay given the fact that the 30% that will be maintained by the company and the team will be vested for 3 years with a 6-month cliff. When it comes to the price, it will be fixed uh, at the 10 cents per coin. Their hard cap is placed at $20 million, but if we run the numbers, the tokens that will go on sale will be uh, $227 million. I'm assuming they will have some sort of discounts or bonuses available for their investors. 
The total amount of tokens is not that high and for the current amount that goes on sale the price can be deemed somewhere good. Keep in mind majority of the times ICOs do not sell out as they used to do. So if less coins are to be sold the market cap will be much lower. That will make it a much better option. Like all ICOs, there are positive and negative aspects about the Orvium ICO. As always, let's start with the positive ones. Their vision behind Orvium to become a leading publication platform for the research community is very solid. The team possesses the necessary experience and the know-how to see this project through. And last but not least, the price per token can be deemed good as well, given it is placed at 10 cents and with the tokens to be sold, the hard cap is placed at 20 million. On the other hand, the platform is planned to be released in 2020, which is almost two years from now, and that may discourage many potential investors. Also, their token distribution is at 60-40, a bit away from my ideal 80-20, but at least 30% of it is vested for three years. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button for daily videos about crypto. As always, this is only my personal view and at no point.